Hello friends, today we'll be discussing an important topic, the classification of nerve fibers, right? It's an important uh, topic in physiology and uh, one needs to revise it very frequently because it's tough to retain it. But uh, I hope after this video, you'll uh, remember some important things and questions are frequently asked out of it. So don't miss out on this. Now broadly, there are two classification system for nerve fibers. The first one is the Erlanger and Gasser system, right? The Erlanger and Gasser system. This includes all the fibers, right? It includes the motor fibers. It includes the sensory fibers and the autonomic fibers. The other system of classification is the Lloyd system. The Lloyd system includes only the sensory fibers. So first of all, this is the first difference between these two methods of classification. And uh, it should be remembered that Lloyd has only sensory fibers in its classification. Now, a Langer and Gasser system, the first group of fibers are called as the group A nerve fibers, right? This group A fibers are then further divided into A alpha, right? A alpha fibers are further of two types, right? They can be somatic motor fibers and they can be somatic sensory fibers. Now these somatic sensory fibers they sense proprioception, right? They are for proprioception. Now in the Lloyd classification, if you talk about the Lloyd classification, then you see that A alpha sensory type in the Lloyd classification is called as type one fiber. Lloyd system follows Roman numerals. So if you see a Roman numeral, that means uh, the question is asking about the Lloyd classification. So somatic sensory fibers are type one fibers, which are then again of two types, one A fibers and one B fibers. All right. Now these one A fibers, they innervate the muscle spindle. All right. Muscle spindle. Spindle is more important. So remember it as one A. Now what, what do one A fibers detect? You can see a L in spindle. So L is for length. That means these fibers, they sense changes in length. One B fibers innovate the Golgi tendon organ, right? The Golgi tendon organ. And what do these sense? You can see a T over here. So this means tension, right? So these fibers sense changes in tension. Now this is the Lloyd system. Now coming back to the Erlanger Gasser system, we have type A beta fibers, right? Now what do these type A beta fibers take? You can use a mnemonic for this. You can remember it as B V pro LT, right? B V pro LT where B stands for A beta, right? V stands for vibration. Pro, you can easily know that it stands for proprioception, right? And LT stands for light touch, all right? So these A beta fibers, they are carrying vibration proprioception and light touch. This can be remembered using the mnemonic BV pro LT. Now you can see that these fibers actually are pure sensory fibers, right? A beta is pure sensory. A alpha was both sensory and motor. A beta is pure sensory. So obviously it will also be included in the Lloyd classification, right? So A beta fibers in the Lloyd classification are called as type two fibers, right? These are called as type two fibers. Another thing which you should note here is that 
these fibers carry proprioception from muscle spindle only right they do not carry from golgi tendon organ so similarly if you if someone asks you type 2 fibers in lloyd system they innervate only the muscle spindle this should be very clear all right now after the a beta in the erlanger gasser system you have a gamma fibers gamma right these a gamma fibers they are motor to muscle spindle right till now we were discussing sensory fibers to muscle spindle type 2 and type 1a in the lloyd system and a gamma fibers are motor to muscle spindle now remember since these fibers are motor fibers so they will not come under the lloyd system because lloyd system is only for sensory fibers and at last there are a delta fibers right what do these a delta fibers take they take two things the first is fast pain fast pain plus cold temperature right the important word here is cold these do not take warm temperature they take only fast pain and cold temperature now again these a delta fibers are also sensory fibers so they are called as lloyd 3 all right so you can remember lloyd 1 fibers are a alpha sensory fibers lloyd 2 are a beta sensory fibers and lloyd 3 are a delta sensory fibers right okay now after covering the a fibers then let's come to the type b fibers in the erlanger gasser system right b fibers b fibers there is nothing to know much you should remember that these are preganglionic autonomic fibers right preganglionic autonomic fibers now again now since these are autonomic fibers so would they be classified in lloyd no because lloyd only has sensory classification so next would be type c fibers now one thing which i would like you to note is that in the erlanger gasser system type a fibers are myelinated fibers all right they have a myelin covering Type B fibers are also myelinated fibers. But type C fibers do not have a myelin cover. Right? Another thing which is important is that as you move down in the Erlanger gasser system, like from A to B to C, the diameter of the fibers reduces. Right? the fibers get compressively come uh, uh, i mean progressively thinner and the, as a result of which their conduction velocity is also lower so if you if someone asks you the least conduction velocity would be of c fibers the maximum conduction velocity would be of a fibers and similarly maximum dia would be of a fibers and least dia would be of c fibers now again c fibers uh, if you have to remember c fibers a very easy thing is things that c fibers carry would be if someone were to give someone uh, a, a torture then you can remember things like for torture what do we do we use pressure right if you have to torture someone you use pressure what else do you do, do would you like to give a fast pain or a slow pain you'd like to give a slow pain to the person then you would like crude touch for torture you don't like fine touch you like crude touch right and then you like both temperatures for torturing you would use both temperature you would use cold temperature you would use warm temperature all right so c fibers in the sensory component they have pressure slow pain crude touch and both warm and cold temperature Another type of C fibers are there. They are postganglionic autonomic fibers, right? Postganglionic autonomic fibers. And these fibers are actually sympathetic in nature, right? Sympathetic in nature. Know this because this has been asked as a question few times that type C fibers are 
post ganglionic sympathetic now one thing that if you see that again c fibers the sensory they are of the sensory types so again they'll be classified into the lloyd system as well so these are the type four fibers in the lloyd system so overall uh, if you take a if you take a review then in a langer gasser system you have type a b and c fibers in the lloyd system you have one two three and four uh, type four fibers and a lloyd system only caters to the sensory fibers a langer gasser system caters to both so this uh, will cover almost everything that you would need to know about these two classification systems I hope you liked it. Do like, share and subscribe the video. Thank you.